side and I am here in Cleveland. Yes, I'm up the road from Blackpool here in Cleveland. It's just behind me is Mary Shell. Yes, it's a massive steel artwork on the beach here. Very, very popular with, oh, I'll tell you what, it's kicking off behind with the dog. So I'm here on the beach at Cleveland. Like I said, that, that shell there is very popular with photographers. I'll show you that in a minute. But anyway, the reason why I've come up here is because you know how I did the storm video last week? We had Storm Ashley blowing and it blew the Helter Skelter off the North Pier. And I joked in that video, I said that it's probably up in Scotland by now when I did the aftermath of it. But um, it's actually been reported that some of the bits of the Helter Skelter have uh, washed up on the beach up here at uh, Cleveland and Rossell, which is a little bit further up the coast. So what I'll do, is we'll have a little look around here. We'll take a look around. I'll show you the sights of Cleveland and a bit further up Russell. And uh, you never know, we might even find some bits of the Helter Skelter. Maybe if I collect enough of them, we'll be able to take them back and see if they can rebuild it. Did they even use that Helter Skelter on the North Beach? I don't even know. Just showing you some footage now of the Helter Skelter, which uh, was captured by my friend Frank in Blackpool just a few months ago, just to remind you of what it looked like. But uh, yeah, so what we'll do is we'll take a little walk along the beach and see if we can find any bits of it. I'll tell you what, it's proper kicking off here with the dogs. Can you see Blackpool Tower all the way down there? It must be a good five miles distance. We can even see the North Pier and the sea well, I'll show you that in a minute, but, but let's just show you this here. This is Mary's shell. We can even go inside it. Let's have a little look inside, shall we? It's massive, absolutely huge. So if I go through here, is it a bit echoey in here? Ooh, check it out. Some people have wrote the names on there, look in the and the, the lichens and that and the barnacles or whatever you call them let's just come through here shall we we'll have a look at the back. now these rocks here along the back these are new these weren't here about a year ago so the the council have put the uh, file wireborough council should i say wireborough council have put all these um, rocks in to protect the sand because the sand around here has been eroded but I just want to show you the promenade. This is the sea wall here, the, the sea wall, which was completed after they, they finished the sea wall at Blackpool. Just up there is the Fleetwood Beach Kiosk Cafe. Went in there the other way, it's really good. All this set, all this here was a set for Star Wars and or a couple of years ago, if you remember, I followed it on the channel. There's a dog chasing after me over there. I thought it was going to go for me then. A little, one of those little yappy dogs that bites your ankles. But anyway, I just want to show you the sea over here. Let's go and check it out, shall we? Well, here's a clear review of Blackpool and the North Bay in the far distance. And just listen to the sea. Wouldn't you just love to be beside the seaside? There's lots of people out here walking families, people with dogs as well, as you can tell behind me, some noisy dogs behind me, but there you go. I do like to be beside the seaside, but anyway, it's time to head that way towards the Rossall area. I don't know if you can see, but there's a school up there. It's called Rossall School. It's a private school. And um, it's where the guy that built Fleetwood, Sir Peter Hesker, he used to actually live there he had a house on there not sure if the school was his house but uh, that's where he used to live and he gave it gave it away and uh, it's now Rossall school a private school 
get all sorts of wildlife up here. We've got a little turnstone scurrying across there. Look at that there, a turnstone. We also get oyster catchers. We get wading, all sorts of other wading birds. Godwits. Look at it. Look at it, run, run. Can I catch up with it? Run, run, run. Oh, it's off. It's a wee. Well, all we would have is the sound of the sea. But well, there's one dog in particular which is making a right racket round here. But anyway, we'll head this way. As you can see, we've got a bit of pebbles going on here. The beach starts to get a bit pebbly up this end. So like I say, we're about five miles north of Blackpool Tower. And uh, I think it's this part of the beach where they said that they, they found some bits of the Helter Skelter. So uh, let's go and have a little look, shall we? So we're just on the other side of that cafe there, where the promenade curves around. We've got a look at all these rocks here. Just imagine the weight of these. What's that down there? I think it's just a bit of a bucket that. Got a bit of seaweed. So if anything's going to be washed up, it's going to probably find its way along here. As you can see, this very pebbly now. This part of the this part of the beach. Another bucket there. <laughs> Where that's come from, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, anyway, as you can see, this part of the seawall here is is original. Can you see? So this is old. There's an old sea. I don't know if they're going to. Uh, can reconstruct the seawall along here as we head northwards I'm not too sure but as you can see it's quite a different looking beach now we've even got groins look we've got groins up here as well something we don't have in Blackpool but I've heard that there is talk of putting groins on the beaches and rocks like they've done up here you can see up here the rocks so we'll have to wait and see because that would break up Blackpool Beach, wouldn't it? But anyway, what have we got here? Got a barrier there. I think they normally fill them with water, don't they? Uh, so that's floated from somewhere. Let's carry on, shall we? You don't want to find some stuff washed up on the beach. Look at this here. That's a big pipe that right there. That's a good bit of pipe that, right, isn't it? About two inches in diameter. What have we got over here? Got a massive lock. This will do for your garden, won't it? What do you reckon? Check it out. Bit of information for you here. This is Russell Beach and why it's so special. There's a turnstone. We just saw one of them before. So I'm just looking back on where I came from over there. That's the cafe. Just over there is the venue. That big building there, it's a, it's a pub and uh, not sure if it's a hotel as well, but there's some swanky properties along here, you know. I'll tell you what. So this is Rossall Promenade that we're on now. Not found anything just yet, but uh, cracking view today. I can see right over to Barrow and Furness. It's a really, really clear day today. I can even see the boat coming in. That's... I don't know if you can see out there, but we've got the we've got the Manxman coming in from the Isle of Man. That'll be going into Haitian. That. So yeah, the, so this is a look at Rossall Promenade, which I don't think I've even featured on the channel before. So we're just north of Cleveland, and uh, I'm just heading up. To a bit up here where you can park up loads of people park up here to watch the sunset so we'll check it out up here shall we now this is interesting i've just found this on the footpath here what is that there that piece of wood it's got fancy paintwork on it uh, i wonder if i wonder if that could be part of the helter skelter what do you reckon yeah interesting anyway let's carry on we might have found our first piece there. OK, I'm now up to this bit here where you can park up and watch the sunset. Here, from Rossall Promenade. This road 
comes to an end just up here. You don't have to pay up here either, like you do further down. A bit further down the coast, at Anchor's home, where they redid all that promenade and put the speed humps in, you have to pay there. Well, I don't know if anybody does pay, but uh, you don't have to pay here. Yeah, it's all free. And as you can see, it's pretty busy. I'm filming this on a Sunday morning. Got some quite swanky properties as well that overlook the seafront here. I wonder what, how much these go for. Anyway, I'm going to head back down onto the beach again. I haven't seen any, any more than that piece. So let's just have a little walk over here. There's, a, there's some steps just over here. We've got a sign here as well. Look, welcome to Rossall Beach. Bit of a notice board there. Tells you about the tides and everything. Beach cleans. All that sort of stuff there. All the information you need. Just had someone dipping at me there. So I've just been recognised. Why Council? Rossall Beach, there you go. Anyway, let's head back down here again, shall we? Now then, this is interesting. I've just come down onto the beach and I found a piece of wood here. Look at this bit of wood here. What do you reckon? It's painted red. Could that be a piece of the Helter Skelter from the North Pier all the way down there? What do you reckon? What do you reckon, folks? It could be. Or it could be from something else. Uh, it's definitely broke off something. Yeah, so is this piece of wood here, painted red, that's definitely broken off something? Was this a piece of the Helter Skelter? It looks like it. I think the Helter Skelter was painted red. I mean, I don't know what... I never really took any notice of the Helter Skelter on the North Pier. But uh, I did show you a little video before. Check out the video. Did this piece of wood come from the Helter Skelter? What do you reckon? So there you go, I found a couple of pieces. There's nothing definite, you know. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. So we're getting a little look at the beach while we're at it. Just look at those houses over there. How much do you reckon for one of them? They've all got balconies overlooking. Hey. Well, if I win the lottery, you never know. Let's have a look down here. Look at all this seaweed down here. Seagulls are having a feast. Look at this. Oh, oh, that one's got a fish over there. Is that a fish? Oh my goodness, it's got all of the fish, that seagull over there. I think it's a dead fish. Look at that. Some sort of fish anyway. Someone's lost a glove. Oh. There's nothing like being beside the seaside, is there? Well, it looks like a bunch of rocks here on the beach, but there's a science behind the placement of these rocks. They're all placed in a way to stop the sand eroding. Can we find any more bits between these rocks? Well, we'll have a little look, shall we? Check it out, I found another piece of red wood. Look at this, same colour as the other bits I found, look. Is that another piece of the Helter Skelter? I think it is, you know, yeah. And check it out, we've got another potential garden ornament here. Look at that there. What do you reckon? Have you got a big enough garden for it though? It's massive. Wow. Just listen to the roar of that sea. Anyway, I'm just leaving the beach now. And I think I did find some bits of the Helter Skelter there. There were people putting pictures on Facebook all week about up here, finding bits of what they thought were the Helter Skelter. So I thought I'd come down and have a look. And I think, I think those bits were part of it. Let me know what you think in the comments. But I'm just coming off the beach now, up to uh, where Rossall School is. I've just checked the prices, by the way. If you want to board at Rossall School, senior, years 12 and 13, according to the website, 16,000 a year. 
yeah, it's not cheap, is it? But it's a good school. I'll show you a bit of Rossall School before I finish. You know, the sea wall along here looks like a battlement. Look at this here, look. It's like a castle. Pretty old fashioned compared to a bit further down. But anyway, just up here, we can get a view of Rossall School. Check it out, Rossall School. Look at the size of that. That is ancient. And like I say, Peter Hesketh used to live on here. Um, but they've also got a church there as well. Look at that. Can you see over there in the distance as well? They've got like a, is that like the main, the front there with those uh, four, four towers on it? And look at all the land they've got. Look at these football pitches here. Wow. You can even see right over to the distance, right over to the, the Bowland Fells. Wow, what have you? Oh, they've even got a cricket pitch as well. I've just noticed there's a cricket pavilion right over there in the distance. Wow, that is absolutely awesome. I'll tell you what, 16 grand a year for full boarding. It's probably not a bad deal, is it really, when you compare it to some of these other private schools up and down the country. So uh, anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. That was a little look at this part of... Not Black... Oh, there's a Blackpool then, but it's Cleveleys. Rossall, Thornton Cleveleys. I think we found some bits of the Helter Skelter. Um, might be wrong, but I think they were bits of the Helter Skelter. But anyway, I'm going to leave it there now, folks. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.